you're asking what's the bare minimum of knowledge a person has to possess in order to answer questions? That's correct, yes. Okay, so this is related to the question. If someone asks me, what is one plus one? Do I have the knowledge to answer and say two? The answer is yes. So everybody could answer this question. Someone asks a, uh, a salesman in a car uh, showroom, how much gas can I put in this uh, Toyota Corolla? From the top of his head, he would say 50 liters. He knows that. He, he, he read the catalog. So he possesses the knowledge necessary to answer the questions. So in order to answer a question, you have to have the knowledge that backs it up. Some of the du'at, some of the students of knowledge, possess a lot of knowledge and they're qualified to answer such questions. They can. Some of them have a limit where when asked a question, they'll say, whoops, this is way above my pay grade. I don't know. I have to check and ask the major scholars. Some of, unfortunately, of the du'at shoots from the hip and he speaks about finance, he speaks about politics, he speaks about social aspects, and mashallah is like a phone booth. Just put the coin and start talking. This is wrong. So the knowledge is extremely important and this is why Muhammad ibn Sirin, may Allah have mercy on his soul, said, this knowledge that you're learning from students of knowledge and scholars and du'at and storytellers, this knowledge is religion. So look and scrutinize who you're taking your religion from. Therefore, if you were asked Islamic questions that you have knowledge of, Akhi, how many rak'ahs do we have in Asr? Four. You have no problem in saying that. But when someone says, okay, can we combine Asr to Maghrib? If we have a necessity and we're flying and there's an emergency and blah, blah, blah. You don't have knowledge, you refrain, you stop. I don't know. And whoever says, I don't know, this is half of the knowledge. And I hope this answers your question.